Get ready for me to butcher some names. Iwaju is the first long-form TV series from the Walt Disney Animation Studios. Now, I just made a video about Moana 2, which was originally also supposed to be a long-form series for Disney+. Plus. However, that was, of course, then reworked into a full movie, which is going to come out in theaters later this fall. Iwaju, though, was always supposed to be a series and is still a series. And now Disney just dropped the first trailer for it. Now, other than being the first long-form TV series from the Walt Disney Animation Studios, it's also significant in that this series is a co-production between the Walt Disney Animation Studios and Kugali Media. Now, Kugali Media is technically a British company that focuses on African stories and voices. As far as I know, Kugali has mainly made comic books till now. So this is their first like big animation project. But I think it's really interesting that Disney is doing a co-production in this way. I don't think I've ever seen that from Disney before. But enough talk, let's check out the trailer. That's so cool. From Disney Animation and the groundbreaking storytellers of Kugali. There you have it. Happy birthday. Tola, this is our team. He wants that story pet. It's great. It looked it weird. A plus limited series. What would you say if I asked you to go to the mainland? I mean, already the the lizard looks a lot like Nigeria. Disney animation. See the real Lagos. Looks like Pascal yes, or something. Good. Well, the little lizard from Lagos, Frozen Two. Nigeria. Pull up your okay, so it's Lagos well in Nigeria. This is how to fish in large rivers. Oti, wait, my daughter. She's your responsibility. Oh, my so daughter. it's a robot. Be careful, though. <laughs> Some of these people are actually dangerous. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> I didn't hear you laugh. Oh. <laughs> Tola, I got you now. Okay, We've got some action on there. Oh, Go. Wait, 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 what is the lizard and transformer or something? Kind of cute. I take that back. <laughs> I think that looked pretty cool. Now, I think the aesthetic of this futuristic Nigeria is amazing. I think the whole setting looks really, really cool. However, I felt like some of the animation looked a little bit cheap, maybe. Like it wasn't totally fluid. It was a little bit basic, especially the characters' movements. I mean, it probably has been a lot cheaper than what you might expect from a full feature length Walt Disney animation production. I have no idea of what the budget might have been for this series, but I think it looks pretty cool. Like I said, that lizard looked very Walt Disney animation. I mean, it is basically just the cousin of Pascal or that fire salamander from Frozen 2. I think you can definitely see in the character design that this is very much a Walt Disney animation production. But then I also feel like you can sense that there is some definite uh, African influences in how the setting looks and, and the whole feel of this trailer. I remember when this was first announced, uh, some people were skeptical of this futuristic Nigeria because they felt like it might end up looking a lot like Wakanda in the Black Panther movies. And I mean, I guess, but I definitely didn't get Wakanda feelings from this trailer. This felt a lot more like a futuristic city, whereas I think Wakanda blends the nature and the futuristic stuff a lot more than, than this does. Also, it's just futuristic and African. That doesn't necessarily mean Wakanda. I wasn't particularly blown away by any of the voice performances in this trailer. However, it is a trailer, so you can't really say much from this. Also, the two main characters in this trailer are kids. So, yeah, 
Kid voice actors might not be where you'll go to look for the most impressive performances. I do, however, think that I'm going to reserve judgment on the voice performances till I actually watch the series. But that apparently won't be long because all episodes will be available on February 28th. So like in two weeks, what's up with Disney just casually dropping a whole series on us? I'm pretty excited. I'll definitely be ready to watch this on February 28th. But what about you guys? What did you think about this trailer for Iwaju? Are you excited for this kind of co-production with Disney? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos from me. But with that said, that's pretty much all I had for you today. My name is Martin Rice. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care and so long.